my brain isn't working. My brain isn't working. I completely forgot about Target Tuesday yesterday. I am just gonna skip Target Tuesday this week and we'll pick back up next week with um, hopefully a fun order. Welcome back to YouTuber Headlines, my unapologetically unfiltered commentary drama channel all about YouTubers with a twist. Most drama channels only talk about the scams, lies, and scandals, but I talk about it all, including the everyday lives of YouTubers. This will be the first video I've ever made about Liza, so I did a poll over on Instagram, and 80% of y'all said you do not watch her channel. Some people said she was boring. So I almost didn't make this video, but I thought, uh, let me just go ahead and make it. I have a few things I want to talk about, and that's what I do here on my channel. Just give commentary on whatever I want to talk about. So Liza started this new series over on Instagram where she has like a different focus every day. Monday is makeup, Tuesday is Target Tuesday, Wednesday is what I ate Wednesday, you guys know. She's just trying to pump out more content over on Instagram because I think she's wanting to grow that platform just like Brittany and Baby, just like every other influencer. And I thought it was so funny because she's been doing this for a few weeks, but she forgot all about what she was supposed to be doing this week and she forgot to place a Target order. So if she doesn't place her Target order, then she has nothing to talk about on Tuesday because that's her whole Target Tuesday theme. My brain isn't working. So I get comments every day from viewers who ask me, what do influencers do? What do they do all day? How do they make money, etc." Okay, one thing they do is shop. They shop a lot. An influencer has to shop in order to provide content sometimes. So they shop, they do a haul, they do a try on, and then they provide swipe up links for you as a viewer, and then you can shop through their swipe up links. That is a huge part of what an influencer does. I'm good with you guys, and I will put the link to my like to know it, and it's gonna have like all of the Target stuff that I've talked about today. So that's one way she makes money on social media. This is why she's an influencer, because she can influence people to make purchases that they wouldn't normally necessarily make. She just said she's gonna link everything to her Like to Know It app so that you guys can go there and purchase all the things through her link. So a big part of an influencer's job is just to shop. And I totally understand when you watch them on Instagram, you look at their daily life and you're thinking, what do they do all day? Like, what are they doing? What is their job? Well, their job is to get you, the viewer, to buy things, to swipe up. This is why you always see influencers, if they have a YouTube channel, they're always decluttering their home. They're always having to reorganize things because they're constantly shopping and bringing things into the home. So yeah, their closet is gonna be like completely full in six months. Do you guys shop at Target every week? Do you shop at any store other than the grocery store every week? I would love to know because I don't. I can't imagine shopping at Target every week and just buying like crap. Just like, I mean, I have everything in my house that I need and I don't need to buy new stuff every week. That's just me. But I don't have the same job they have. I'm not a lifestyle influencer, so I get it. They have to do it to produce content. You heard Liza say at the beginning of this video, she forgot to place a Target haul, so she had no content for Tuesday. So they have to shop in order to have content, in order to make money. And to be honest, she'll probably make every penny back that she spent on that haul because people will use her affiliate links, her swipe up links to make purchases, and she will probably make everything back that she spent on that haul plus more. And that's probably why her husband is okay with it, because we all know Liza's husband is extremely frugal. One time Liza showed a picture of her socks and they had holes in them, and someone made a joke and said, I can't believe your husband won't let you buy new socks. You have to wear socks with holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> she posted that on Instagram. I thought that was funny. Got out of Aldi and it was definitely an experience for sure. I was so confused. Like, So she went to Aldi with her friend Jen and I'm so surprised 
that her friend didn't kind of explain to her how Aldi works before they got there. And I'm also surprised that it's 2021 and she's never been to Aldi. I know she just moved to a different state. So maybe where she used to live, they didn't have an Aldi. I don't know. The quarter thing was weird. And then like checking out was a whole nother thing. I didn't have any bags with me, so I bought some bags, but then the lady didn't pack the bags, so I had to pack the bags. <laughs> she is a little thrown off that she had to pack her own groceries in the bag. <laughs> Do, am I the only one that finds this crap funny? But I couldn't pack the bags <laughs> at checkout. I had to go to like another area to pack my bags, and it was like a whole confusing thing. And I, I would have loved to have seen Eliza check out at Aldi. That would be... I like to people watch. That would have been so funny watching her check out. I didn't even buy enough bags for my groceries, so I have groceries in the back kind of just flung around in my trunk. But <laughs> lesson learned, now I will know for next time. It is very good prices though. I checked out of there. Everything I got was a hundred bucks. Right. See, that's the kind of stuff that would be interesting to put in a vlog. The, that whole checkout fiasco chaos. That would be funny to watch. That is what influencers and YouTubers should put in their vlogs. But this is just first world problems, guys. Seriously. These are the problems that influencers and YouTubers have every day. They forget to make their target order, and the lady at the grocery store doesn't bag their groceries. Liza shared this picture over on Instagram, and is it too much? I think it's a little bit too much. I think that when you think about your child and his future, he may not want that picture online when he's older. Can you imagine being 17 years old and your friends go into your mom's Instagram page and pulling this picture and like showing everybody and making fun of you? Like you can only imagine the teasing that a 17 year old boy would get if, they're, if his friends found this picture. So I just don't understand why YouTubers and influencers don't respect their kids a little more. And just take one for the team. Just don't post that picture. In the caption, she writes, I seriously debated posting this picture for a few reasons. Am I showing too much? Will Quentin be embarrassed that I shared this on the internet when he's older? Is this the kind of thing that needs to be kept private? I went back and forth in my head for days and I finally decided to share it. And see, if you're going back and forth like that, if you're having that internal struggle, there's your answer right there. If you think it's too much or it might be too much, then it probably is. Another viewer asked, why does your husband wear such ginormous clothes? And Liza said, Oh my God, I cannot stop laughing. I guess he likes to be cozy. So Liza and her husband are currently in a home now, but it's not their dream home. They will be building soon. And someone said, are you going to pay cash for your next house? She said, true. Y'all know how Alex feels about debt. And this is their old house that they used to live in, in Maryland. And now I believe they live in North Carolina. Yes, they live in North Carolina now. They bought a house. Last year, they paid cash for that house, and she's very open about it. They will be paying cash when they build their house. Another viewer said, you've hired a cleaner for the new house, or you already have one. She said, true, I'm planning to hire one soon. And this seems to be a hot topic. I would love to know if you guys have a housekeeper or someone who does your laundry, and how do you feel about YouTubers and influencers having help around the house? Here are my thoughts. I really don't care what people do inside their own home or with their money. Brittany and Baby used to have a housekeeper and she stopped having them come because she said they weren't doing a good job. And that's kind of how I feel. I don't feel like anybody would clean my house as well as I can clean it myself. So I don't have a housekeeper. Do you call them housekeepers or maids? Whatever you wanna call them. I don't have one, but I personally don't care if another mom feels like that's what she needs in her life. Another viewer asked, do you drink wine every day? Because Liza shows pretty much wine every day or a beer, be honest. She does over on Instagram. She says not every day. Some days I drink beer. <laughs> oh, I just caught that. <laughs> She said, all jokes aside, I do have a beer or a glass of wine most nights. It's part of my me time. I enjoy a little alcohol, no shame. This is a touchy subject too. 
I think it's really important what kind of narrative you share with your kids about this. I did an entire video about this topic and I will link it down below if you wanna go check it out. But in this video, you get the child's perspective. And I know that every situation is different, but if you want to hear the perspective of a child who is now an adult and their mom was a blogger and shared about having a glass of wine, having a beer every night, on her blog with her audience yeah you should just go check out this video because it's very interesting if you haven't already go follow me over on instagram at youtuber headlines thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time <music>